Yo, scrawny with the skinny. The pick'em challenge is not about diamond coins. You think you want the diamond coin. You think you need the diamond coin. But you deserve better than that. You should shoot for greatness, for glory, for perfection. Alexander Ellenberg once took a stand against the chumps that shoot for five correct pick'em predictions. Alexander Ellenberg, a.k.a. Maui Snake, is the forefather of the nine out of nine pick'em perfection movement, a movement that I am now going to be getting behind, and I hope every one of you can too. It is not just five points in each stage of the pick'em challenge into the correct playoff predictions that you should be shooting for. You want greatness. You want glory. You want to be able to be the first man in known history to look back with a flawless pick'em challenge. Not just some diamond coin that's going to get piled down in your inventory, lost with all the other Susies and Sallies. No, no, no. You want to be the first to ever 100% correct predict a CSGO major. Because this is your time. This is your last chance in CSGO to get every prediction correct. Do not burn a measly team in your 3-0. Believe in yourself from start to finish because if you don't believe in yourself, how can anybody believe in you? That is the mantra. That is the attitude. That is the mentality that we will be taking to Paris and that I will be using in this Pick'em video because at the end of the day, that's what you're here for. You want to know what the scrawn dog's thinking. You know, you've got your own ideas. You've got your own thoughts and that's great. You know best, but you're here to double check, and I'm here to convince you to help us change the Counter-Strike community on a cultural level. No longer will we shoot for five correct pick'em predictions. From this day forward, we shoot for the nine out of nine pick'em perfection. All hail Alexander Ellenberg. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're going through this pick em pretty quick. You just want to double check. I get it. All right? And yes, we are not screwing around. G2, 3-0. G2 will beat Mongols in their opening game, no problem. The only difficult matches I foresee for G2 is once they get to the best of threes, when they'll either have to face likely FaZe, Liquid, maybe they have to try and take down fours in order to get it, but I think this is all good, okay? I don't think Mongols will stand in their way. I think that Monacy is here to win. I think that G2 are going to be getting back to trophy lifting form. Yes, at the RMR, they lost to nine, but you can't write off nine at the moment in a 16-14 best of one as well. And they lost to Vitality, who went on to win IEM Rio. We know they're in good form. So G2, all good. That is the 3-0 pick. I also don't want to beat around the bush on the 03. Straight up, Fluxo. I went to the Americas RMR. I was there in Monterey, and I can confidently say that I would have rather watch Nouns or MIBR having taken this place at the Americas RMR instead. Listen, I'm glad they made it. It's awesome these players have achieved X of their dreams, but in reality, this is not a tier of Counter-Strike that I think Fluxo are going to be able to truly compete in. Some people are thinking that the Pain fluxo head-to-head -head is a domestic matchup that might actually cause an upset. I watched Pain play Fluxo in a best of three in Monterey, 16-1, 16-8, no chance. All right, unfortunately, Fluxo's T side leave a lot to be desired, and I think that on an international European level, we are not going to get enough out of this team. It seems like they're a pretty confident 0-3 pick. If anything, maybe you're also looking at, I don't know, Greyhound. They're always generally a choice, but they didn't look too bad in Melbourne just coming into this event. If you want to write off NA, go for maybe a complexity pick. That could be a bit of an upset. Gamer Legion, maybe. You know, there are teams on the fringe, but I don't think anybody's as far down that pecking order as Fluxo. 3-0-0-3. Lock it in. Now we talk teams that just move through. Um, tough one. I'm going to say tough one because we've got a mixed bag here. We've got tier two teams that are punching upwards, some looking better than ever. And we've got guys that are currently 
arguably not even meant to be here. If it wasn't for the Americas RMR having one less spot, FaZe wouldn't be at this major. They'd be just like Cloud9, eliminated with no last chance qualifier. But because Americas get one less spot, we get FaZe at the major. Uh, who you write off is up to you. But I'm not going to write off Team Liquid. I think Team Liquid are going to be fine. I think that there's a higher likelihood they lose a best of one in one of their opening matches than like G2 or maybe FaZe. But Liquid should be fine. They open up versus Apex, who I'm willing to write off. So it should be smooth sailing from there. RG, excuse me, are Liquid capable of losing games they shouldn't? Absolutely. Will they? I don't think so. After the G2 pick, Ninjas in Pyjamas. All right, listen, the Ninjas have looked good as of late. They've got recent losses to, I believe, Navi, uh, Heroic, Vitality. But outside of that, the Ninjas are punching upwards. The Ninjas are on an upwards trajectory, and they're looking better uh, than they did at the start of this year. Okay, Config's form on an individual level seems to be enough alongside the op in Head Trick. Uh, I like this Ninjas, and I think that they're going to be pleasantly surprising heading into the next stage of the Major. I'm also not writing off fours. Zorte has what could be uh, a top three, definitely top five op performance in the challenger stage for this major. Uh, he definitely gets outshone by Monacy, don't get me wrong, he's not the number one, but Zorte is the hard carry for fours at the moment. What I like about fours is their skill floor seems to be constantly rising, right? Result is actually challenging Shalfi as the number one rifler on this team. Krad and Jerry both have the capability of having pop-off maps and managing to top frag in any given map, sometimes even series. You cannot write off fours. They've got the tactics, they've got the util, they've got the team play, and they've got the individual level behind Zorte as the tip of the spear to break through into the next stage of the major. Um, I also think an opening game versus Greyhound bodes really, really well for them. Speaking of opening games, there's four teams that I do kind of want to flag as like ifs, ands, maybes, whats, and buts, all right? That is the 15th to 18th seeded teams, Ninjas, Maus, OG, and Ents. Now, I already put Ninjas through because I have confidence in them. Of those four teams, I actually have the most confidence in Ninjas. Probably second would be Ents, but we'll get to that. What I want to highlight is that those four teams, because they're so closely seated, the winner of each of those opening games, Ninjas, Maus, OG, Ents, will play the winner of the other matchup, and the loser plays the loser. So in a theoretical world, we could get Maus versus OG, and one of them end up O2. We could have Ninjas versus Ents, and one of them end up O2. These four teams are very difficult to peel apart at the moment. And it's for that reason that I'm a little iffy and a little sketched out at the thought of including all of them. I know those are the favorites, but I think that the tournament format has already proven at the RMRs to be playing a factor in some of the results. And we need to keep that in mind instead of just blindly selecting all of those favorites. With that being said, I already went for the ninjas. As I said, good Rio solid config performance as of late. I believe in them enough to include them here in my lower line. And I'm also going to throw Ents in that pile. Between those four teams, those are the two I like the most, right? Sun Pius looks fantastic, especially on LAN. We get this next level showing from Nerds. In terms of Counter-Strike Fantasy, I've been kind of on the fence with Nerds. I've not been willing to go all in, fully believe, and kind of elevate Ents back up into a top 10 potential. But now I'm ready. With this major, after the RMR, Nerds is the real deal. He is the star of this team. Uh, Snappy essentially found another Sphinx. And in this case, Ents are going to be on down there. Where does this leave us? Okay, like I said, OG, bit scary with how they begin, and I put Maus in that same clumping. Uh, Mongols, I have a very little read on them. I feel like hot or cold. Complexity went to Melbourne, didn't impress at all. Uh, that was, I think, their event to win. If they wanted to truly be considered in contention for the legend stage of Paris, they had to go to Melbourne and just put a gap between them and everybody else, especially the likes of like Bad News Eagles, who are going to be waiting in the legend stage. Mouse's Rio performance really let a lot of air out of the tires for their run. You know, coming off the RMR, beating Virtus Pro in a best of three, beating FaZe in a best of three to push them down to the last chance qualifier. I thought Mouse were going to continue to crack into the top eight, maybe top five, if they had another great major run like they did in Rio. But now I don't know where to put, you know, my finger on them. 
So of all the teams that are left here, right, that includes also FaZe, Monty, Apex, Gamer Legion, and Pain. I don't think we can ignore FaZe. Obviously, just won ESL Pro League, just won the double Grand Slam. Yes, they went to Rio to lose, but they got eliminated by Vitality, who went on to win the entire event. I can't imagine a world where FaZe aren't at least at the Legend stage, right? Of course, the Rio Major was a, a nightmare for these guys. Getting eliminated by B&E, it just it kind of it proved to us that they could lose in horrific fashion. And I think they could still in Paris. This is not a phase that is in the best form they've ever put forward. I wouldn't even say it's the Pro League phase, and that wasn't even the cleanest win ever. Uh, but they should be as good as they were in Rio, if not slightly better. I think they've already started to vamp back up. And so I'm going to give FaZe a pick here, right? I just can't imagine a world where they don't qualify. And that leaves us with two spots. Now, like I said, OG, Mouse, sketchy picks for me. I think the safe thing would be to just grab both. This would be the safest bet. But I'm going to give credit, or at least wait, to the format of this event. And I want to remind everybody that Monty are currently the number one seeded team for this stage of the major. The design of this format is meant to give the easiest possible road to Monty. And I believe Monty could even beat FaZe in a best of one to kick off this stage of the major. And if they do exactly that, I think that could be the hardest game they end up having. Assuming that Complexity beat Gamer Legion, that would be Monty's next matchup. Are you telling me Monty can't beat them? No. So then all of a sudden, Monty are 2-0 in a best of three against what could be the likes of Liquid? Fours? Even if they lose that best of three, they've got two more chances, and every single time they will be fed what is statistically, mathematically, in terms of this weighting, meant to be the easiest victory. I think Monty make it through. I think Monty make it through, and I think they will be an example of what this format and what this seeding does and gives to certain teams on the fringe when they're able to succeed at the RMR and come in as what is ninth ranked highest at the major, barring the first one to eight that are waiting in the legend stage. Then we've got one spot left, and I don't know what to do, okay? Mouse and OG still on the tip of my tongue just because of what they've proven in the past. Uh, pain fantastic pro league game and trying to represent the Americas region, bringing in Zevi and Skulls that look so good. Two of the best players in Brazil at the moment outside of Furia. Gamer Legion Apex, I'm sorry you're written off. Greyhound, you're gone. Maybe Mongols slip through. Maybe Complexity pull it off if Halzerk and Grimm can really go big. And it really does hurt to write off Complexity, but I can't stop looking at Maus and OG. And for that reason, I'm going to slip Mouse in at the very end and lock in my pickums. This is it. This is it. The start of the 9 out of 9 pickum perfection prediction. G2, Fluxo, Liquid, NIP, Fours, Ents, Phase, Moni, Mouse. See you guys for Legends. See you guys in Paris.